Welcome to Storytime, friends. Today, I have a beautiful story called Flower Garden, and it was written by Eve Bunting, who did all of the words in our story, and it was illustrated by Katherine Hewitt, who did all the very beautiful pictures in our story. Garden in a shopping cart. Doesn't it look great? Garden on the checkout stand. I can hardly wait. Garden in a cardboard box. Walking to the bus. Garden sitting on our laps. People smile at us. See the garden right up front there? It's like it's right on our laps. Garden going up the stairs, stopping at each floor. This garden's getting heavier. At last, our own front door. Do you ever notice that when you're carrying something, it seems to get heavier over time? I wonder if it's really getting heavier or if something else is going on. Hurry, hurry, get the trowel, spread the papers thick. Do you see the trowel? What's a trowel? Small shovel-like tool that we use with our hands. She's holding it. That looks like such a fun project they're working on. Purple pansies at each end. See the purple pansies. Daisies, white as snow. Where are all the daisies? Right next to the trowel. Daffodils, geraniums. What color are the daffodils and geraniums? I see yellow daffodils, red geraniums, and tulips in a row. How many tulips do you see? I see two. One orange one and one red one. Garden in a window box high above the street. Where butterflies can stop and rest and ladybugs can meet. You see the ladybug in this picture? Walkers walking down below will lift their heads and see purple, yellow, red, and white, a colored jamboree. See where the window box is? What do you see here? Who's coming? Candles on a birthday cake. Chocolate ice cream, too. Are you preparing a special celebration? Happy, happy birthday, Mom! A garden box for you. How do you think the mom is feeling? Getting that surprise. To me, she looks happy smile and she looks sort of surprised. She wasn't expecting that wonderful gift. And what about her? To me she looks happy and maybe proud that she and her daddy were able to think of such a wonderful and, and specific gift for what her mom would like, right? They thought about what she would like. They're appreciating the sunset and the garden box. They had some cake and ice cream. 
What a beautiful story, flower garden. You know what I love about this? is it shows us that birthdays are such a great opportunity to show our love and appreciation for the people in our lives. And everybody has a birthday, right? A time where they can be appreciated and loved for being who they are, and the specialness and the uniqueness of that person. And there are other times when we can show our love and appreciation for people in our lives too. Can we think of any other days? What about Showing our love for mothers on Mother's Day, and fathers on Father's Day, and grandparents on Grandparents' Day, and there's the birthdays, and then sometimes we can just show our love and appreciation for someone every day, right? Every day we can make sure that the people that we love and appreciate know how much we appreciate them. It feels so good to know how much you're loved by the people in your life. I hope you're able to show your love for the people that you get to see every day and even those who are far away or we don't get to see. Find a little way and think about what would they love. And I think some of the best ways to show that are doing something or maybe making something yourself, your own hands, ideas from your own mind. And it's something really special just from you. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you in the forest, friends.